Today's video is brought to you by ablmerch.com. Use promo code CAGES, as in Joe Biden's migrant cages, to get 20% off your next order. Let's get straight into it. So Lil Nas X, you may know who that is. Um, uh, What's that? Uh, Old Town Road, the, the Cowboy song. You know what I'm talking about. Ride till I can't no more. That 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 young boy. Um, so when he made that song, it was cool. You know, kids loved it. He would go out there and perform it. It was all good, right? Just as a young kid having fun, cool little music. You know, got Billy Ray Cyrus on it. It's all good. Everybody's you know having a good time. But when he said, "Hey, you know what? I'm LGBT," I was like, "Uh oh, that that might be a problem because now." He'll go to the far, he, he'll go really left to do something weird. If he's gay, I don't really care about that. But when you announce it and you kind of like making it be a market employee, I'm like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Because already in music and popular music, they want to push certain narratives, right? Once you get to like these major labels and they're putting a bunch of money into you. Like, I'm going to talk about the music industry for a minute. I know a little bit about it. I've been around the music industry. I've been in studios. You know, I used to make mixtapes and beats and stuff like that back in my younger days. I've been down to uh, Timberland Studio in Virginia Beach. Don't tell nobody. It's just, it's just, it's just us here. But I, I know a little bit about the music industry. One thing about the music industry is that in order to have somebody to become famous, to become like top of the charts and really like out there, it takes money. A lot of money. Drake, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, all these people, it takes a ton of money. Back in the day, they called that payola. This is an old school term. Payola is an old school term when they would pay radio DJs to play records over and over, right? And that also applied to, like, the media. That still may apply to the media. It still does apply to the media, but in a different way. And I'll explain how, it, how it's different. What they do now is, okay, rather than just paying the radio DJ, you know, $100, $200, or whatever the case all right, look, we're going to buy a bunch of ads from a parent company. So you got Clear Channel or something like that, a major hub of radio and uh, or, or Apple or something like that. Some people that have playlists on these uh, big streaming platforms. We'll buy, we'll buy a bunch of ads from you. Speaking of the record label, we'll buy a bunch of ads. And since we have X, Y, and Z artists, it will behoove you to play more of their songs so you can get more ad buys from us because the ads are what dominate you as far as your revenue streams. If you're talking about uh, streaming services and things of that nature, the ads are how you make money, right? So we're going to buy a bunch of ads and it's kind of a wink, wink deal. Play more of a record. Play more of the record. When you hear um, Lizzo over and over again, when I was in Virginia, what was that? A couple of years ago, um, I rented a car and I didn't have any of my music or anything hooked up to it. So I'm hearing the radio down there, 103 Jams. And they played the Lizzo Truth Hurt song over and over. I heard it. I had it been a thousand times in the car. And I wasn't in the car that long. Just driving around Virginia, like Norfolk, that area. I heard it a thousand times. Over and over. Truth Hurts. It was like, what is going on? Is the song that hot? It's because the label are buying a bunch of ads saying, hey, play that song. So when Lil Nas X came out and said, you know what, I'm LGBT, and I saw how popular Old Town Road was, I'm like, okay, he's going to put out something next that's going to be super hyper LGBT, and that's going to be spun a lot. It's going to be very popular. It'll be a lot of cash put behind it. And now we have this song. Uh, I've not heard the actual song audio-wise, not in the least bit. But um, I have seen some visuals from it, and I'm gonna show some stuff. I'm not, I'm not. I'm, I won't be graphic. I promise. I won't be graphic. All right. I'll talk about the shoes, and then I'll talk about. I'll, I'll talk about the shoes after the video. Okay. Now, in the video, he is twerking, and like doing the strip tease. That's the best way I can explain it. Doing the strip tease on a devil. On a devil. I'm not making it up at all. And of course, the devil is a male. So it's it's almost like 
you watching something that you shouldn't be watching if you get my drift. All right. So that's why, you know, I wanted, I wanted to do a reaction, but how can I react to something like that? This ain't, this ain't no X rated site. I don't even know how this boy is able to, you know, play it on YouTube. It's like, where are we at right now? This is YouTube.com. We get little babies watching. What are we doing? All right. So, matter of fact, here's a little parody. This, this, this is Squidward. This is a parody of what's going on. This is pretty much Lil Nas X. And again, this is not Lil Nas X. It's no, no nudity or nothing like that. But this is pretty much what the video was like. This is probably the best way to explain it, okay? And I'm not making it up. I'm talking about no shirt on, um, long braids with baby hairs, pink braids with baby hair, um stripper boots it was like this that's that's what the video was like um in hell burning fire that's what it was like okay so if you want to see the video you can look it up on your own time i'm not gonna play here we got little babies watch i'm not gonna be able to do it all right now that is pretty much what was going on and aside from him dancing on the pole there was a, a a satan a devil dressed up person a male muscled up and Lil Nas doing a strip tease on him, like Janet Jackson or somebody like that at an award show or Sierra or somebody. It was it was nasty. I, I put it to you like this. Lil Nas X is Cardi B on cocaine and heroin at the same time. Just to, it, like Lil Nas X makes Cardi B look like Mr. Rogers. OK, that's what's going on with that. It was it was crazy. Now, th this is a little arena where they were. It's not going to show either one of them. Oh, yeah, it will. It's showing the dude, but you can't really see him. Here's the arena that they were on. So this this is this is what the 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 boy who had the the song that was really good for kids and really positive and uplifting is doing now. Now, how was this for kids or positive or uplifting? This is completely satanic, and people say, "Oh man, you tripping? Why are you talking about uh, devil worship and music is not really a real thing? What is this?" What is, what is this? There was a scene where after Lil Nas X gets done dancing on this fool right here, he um snapped his neck and put his devil horns on. Because he has horns on right there. He took the horns off his, and put it on his own head. All right. And then there was another scene. Oh, okay. Here is, here, here is the after scene of Lil Nas X with the devil horns. So how much more blatant can you get? How much more blatant can we get? You know, back in the day, because, you know, I'm kind of older than a lot of people sometimes, depending upon the crowd that's watching. I remember the 3-6 Mafia days. And if you don't know about 3-6 Mafia, that's a rap group from, they're still around to a certain extent, but they were really hot in the 90s, 2000s. And um, when they first came out back in the day, like early 90s, late 80s, they went by um triple six mafia because they could not use three six because it, it was just too too evil, too, too much, right? They were not devil worshiping, really, but what they were was just edgy. So they used triple six mafia back in the day. Triple six rather than three six because it just was more marketable. Now we went from that to full on devil outfit. And this is considered to be like really hot, really woke, and the next best thing. And if you say something against it, then you may be somehow a homophobe. I'm not really sure how that makes any sense. Maybe you just might be a Christian. Maybe you might not. Maybe you might not want to have your children listen to evil music. Maybe you just want the Old Town Road type thing back. And maybe you don't want anything other than that. Just maybe, right? Okay, so. And then there was the shoes. Okay, I'm going to get to the shoes. All right. Now, we don't have any shirts off or nothing like that in this one, but here are the shoes. Now, these are Nike Air Max customized to be devilish. But, you know, I don't think these are from Nike necessarily. And if I'm wrong, let me know. Yes, they are Nike Air Max, but it may just be a company that are doing like variants or whatever they call it, like um, custom edition. They can make these on their own aside from having an endorsement trade from Nike. It said they got human blood in the soul. I doubt that. But yeah, that's what it says. And on the back of the heel, because what I'm showing right now has a side profile of the shoe. 
if you can't see the video or the, the picture. So it has a profile, like a right side profile, and it has what is like red. It appears to be some kind of red liquid in the bubble sole, which is clear so you can see it. Then on the heel, it has Mark of the Beast, the three sixes, and then the Nike swoosh. And then at the front, it has Luke 1018. And then right there on the tongue, there's some kind of ornament. And that's a, it's like a pentagram right there, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So, I mean, these are the shoes that Lil Nas X is promoting. Because in the first picture right here that I showed, that's him right there, Lil Nas X, holding it. Posing with some kind of colored contacts in his eye that uh, give him, like, snake eyes. It's like yellow with black in the middle. With the top of his head dyed red and the background behind him is red. All right, and then you see him with them on. And then they're in the box. And there's more because in the box, like right here, there's a really nasty picture. It looks like Satan conquering Jesus, maybe. But in the box, there's like dead souls and stuff. It's really just satanic. So Lil Nas X is not only having a satanic video, but also promoting satanic shoes. So when you got your, your woke cousin that comes around and says that hip-hop is satanic, I mean, Lil Nas X ain't really proving them wrong, is he? Not at all. So, hey, it is what it is. But um, that's Lil Nas X. So next time you hear Old Town, Old Town Road, whatever that song is, understand who you're listening to. And understand what kind of what what kind of record label will be behind that type of stuff and allow that to happen. You see, it's a it's a it's a different kind of play here. Now, I guarantee you, if it was something about Prophet Muhammad or something like that, peace be upon him, oh, no, they don't want to do that. No, no, no. They would never, you would never see nothing like that in no mainstream media, music, record labels. Ne never, ever, ever, ever. Because they already know what time it is. They already saw uh, the Charlie Hebdo. They don't want to get a lot of Watt Bar, you understand? But I digress. Mm -hmm.